What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. Now today we're going to be doing some Bonanza and we're going to be trying out the Chipper and the Super Monkey in a strategy combiner. Hopefully our opponent doesn't disconnect. Literally the I've recorded for the past hour plus and at the end like near the end of both videos the opponent's disconnected and it absolutely sucks because my voice is dying and I have to do a, a stream. So I greatly appreciate it if you subscribed and liked the video. I'm just going to spam crying because I hate this map. I literally hate so many maps. Let's say no shapes, bro. Okay. Um, let's, let's try and make this map work. I really don't know how this map works. Um, I don't know how this, if this strategy is going to work. You know what? It literally won't because we don't have camo detection. Oh my God. Okay. You know what we need? You know what we need? We, we need a camo purge. We, yeah, we need a camo purge. Oh my God. Okay. So we're actually bringing this. Are we actually doing this? Because we need, we, oh, never mind. We have Hadley Pilot. Let's actually switch that out for damage boost. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see how this goes. But yeah, please subscribe and like. My voice is literally dying. Oh my God. Okay. So let's, I don't even know how you're meant to farm on this map. Um, I just pray that our opponent doesn't disconnect. I just want to have a nice late game battle. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be a decent strategy, of course. Anything that the Super Monkey late game kind of is. Uh, but yeah, so the last two videos I tried to record that went wrong. Uh, the first one was using Chipper, an engineer, to go late game. Now, that was really interesting. Uh, the first game, I just lost at, like completely because they rushed me with ZMGs. And the balloons really overwhelmed me. And um, in the second game, we were doing really well. And then our opponent disconnected. They disconnected, which absolutely sucked. Uh, it looks like this guy is trying to go late game with me. I should probably just say late game on like the menu so people know to go late game. Never mind, he is rushing us with blues. I mean, they're only space blues. It's really not going to do anything. But still, it's still a rush. My God. Oh, uh, what is he doing? Did he just sell a farm? I'm very confused because you can't afford a factory by this point. You can't sell a farm and afford a factory. Um, I'm just going to send him a couple of space blues as well. Just put a bit of pressure on him. Uh, he's doing the same thing to me at exactly the same time. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go for... Okay, so he's using lightning bolts as well. So he knows what he's doing, clearly. He does know what he's doing. Let's use this lightning bolts right now to prevent any more leaks. Um, I'm going to use this at the start of the next round. He is sending us pinks right now. Okay, so I'm kind of tempted to get just like a heli pilot or something. Yeah, let's just get it right there. Let's just patrol it there. Uh, it's basically lock in place. I just set patrol and seg because I'm lazy. Uh, but um, so as soon as the next round starts, let's use the fertile soil. Uh, so like now and he's actually doing well. He has fertile soil as well So he's obviously fairly good at the game. He knows what he's doing. Let's sell all of those. Let's get our factory up I believe he's got a factory as well right now uh, I'm gonna go for a couple of pinks against him just to force him to actually do something quickly Otherwise, he is really gonna die. He's using another lightning bolts. Okay, that's fair enough And we're just gonna keep on farming I guess now I have some defense so I have one lightning bolt left I'm also farming. I think we're on the very a very similar page with the farming. Um, yeah, we're very very close in farms I can literally afford to get wait. Let me just use a lightning bolt right there Let's get up our second banana research facility. Yeah, we're definitely out farming him We're gonna use this right now and then we'll have money to okay. So he's got dark monkey That's probably his fourth power. So our fourth tower is probably better Heli pilot is definitely better than dark monkey late game just straight up. It's better and he's only just got his second factory and I'm literally, I'm getting my third factory this round. Now, he could do some serious damage if he went for a rush against me. I'm not prepared whatsoever. I could just get a super monkey up if I wanted to, but it wouldn't be that good. Uh, but yeah, so let's keep on. Okay, so he's using Fertile Sword now. See, he's going to start out farming me a tiny... Well, he won't start out farming me, but he will catch up in farms. He definitely will catch up. But I'm already getting, like, so far ahead. Um, let's try and fit that right there. Perfect. Yeah, we do have a lot of farms up right now. In fact, we can actually get a, a temple. If we do need to get a temple, if he goes for a rush, uh, we literally have so many farms right now. Oh my god, we're gonna have so much money coming in, and he's gonna have a similar amount of money coming in. Now, for the rest of the stuff, I think I'm just gonna go for BIAs. Yeah, see, he's doing the same thing. He's sensible. He knows what he's doing. You have to go for the BIAs as well, because you want that eco too. You don't want to just get the money all from the factories. You want to get eco. Eco is really, really good. Uh, let's just go for this right now. That will defend against most regen rainbow rushes and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, if it was Mega Boost, I wouldn't be able to defend with just that. But it isn't Mega Boost. It's just Bonanza. He's just going for Dark Monk 
monkeys. It's very, very strange. I don't know why he's going for dart. It's really not a good tower to br bring to Bonanza. I hope it's like his fourth tower or something. It probably is. Uh, I mean, why am I saying hope? Because I, obviously I want to win. But I also just want to have a nice late game battle because everything has been failing recently. Everything has been failing. And it's really sucked. Let's just go for another BIA right there. And now we'll start to go for our temples. And then, of course, all of the other towers we have on our side are probably going to be chipper, I guess. Can we really not fit temples up there? That actually kind of sucks. That really sucks that we can't put temples there. But we can put one there as well. We're going to have so much money from these BIAs. They're just going to give us so much eco. And it's only round 14. And we already have th this much stuff. This is going to be a really, really nice late game battle. Unless our opponent disconnects like every other person. I'm literally going to have a fear of like the opponent disconnecting now in videos. Because it has happened so much today. It's absolutely destroyed my voice. I know it doesn't sound like it. But it really has. Um, the good thing is... Because these rounds are going really quickly, we are getting so much money from our BIAs. We just got like more than 100k from all of those. And let's just keep on getting these temples up. Let's just check out if I have any other sacrifices. Yeah, I don't. That's, that kind of sucks. That's one problem with bringing the chipper. It's not a good sacrifice for the temple. But it's okay. We just got three temples up just like that on round 17. And then, of course, we're going to fill all of the other space up uh, with the chippers. Because chippers, are, of course... Are a really, really great tower. I love the chipper so much. Um, but yeah, so we have 10,000 eco right now. So every six seconds, we get 10,000. So every minute, we get 100,000. Every minute, we can afford a new temple. That is absolutely great. We have so much money right now. And of course, our eco is only just going to go up by, yeah, 1,000 each round. So in 10 rounds, by round 30, we'll have 20,000 eco, which is like insane. That is so much. Now, he's starting to sell his farm, so I assume he has Super Monkey. I don't know what other towers he has. If, if he has a slowdown, he may be able to do serious damage and, like, actually be able to go... Wait, is he just getting BIAs up? He's just going for BIAs. So, he just sold his factories to go for BIAs. Interesting. Uh, I mean, that kind of makes sense because, like, they do give you that nice eco boost. You know what? I'm going to do what he's doing. I'm going to copy my opponent for once. I think that's actually a really nice idea. And, of course, we can fit one there. So, this is going to give us so much more eco per, more per round right now. Like, we were getting 1,100 or something like that. Let's see how much money we get at the start of next round. Or, sorry, how much eco we get at the start of next round. It's going to be a lot more, isn't it? Let's see if it's like... It probably will be like 2,000, I think, we'll get. Which is a lot of eco going towards our already big 12,000. Like, we're going to be able to afford our defense very, very easily. Yeah, 2,000 eco every round. We just doubled how much, like, eco we get every round, which is ridiculous. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go for our chippers. He's probably going to be surprised when I bring out the chipper because, like, no one brings out chipper. Can we really not fit anything there? That's kind of... I didn't really like the design of this map that much, actually. That's kind of bad. That you can't fit any towers. Maybe you can fit small towers there. But you really can't fit towers, like, uh, up this bit at all. Which, for me, that really sucks a lot. Because I want to be able to fit towers there. Anyway, so we have got so much eco right now. What I'm thinking of doing is... Collecting all of the money from all of these BIAs. And because we have so much money and we have so much eco, I'm just going to sell absolutely everything. And that this is we're just going to focus purely on getting our defense up right now. So he might be a bit confused about what we're doing right now. But literally, I'm just selling everything so I can get up my defense. Uh, it looks like, is he doing the same thing? I just saw him sell one farm. Okay, so he has Super Monkey. He has Super Monkey. He has eyes. Okay. Ice versus Chipper. Let's see which one wins. I am very, very curious. Because, of course, the Ice has to slow down. However, the Chipper, the Chipper does slow things down. It's just about the amount of damage we do to the ZMGs. We just need to damage the ZMGs enough. But this is going to be interesting. Obviously, it's going to make his temples more powerful because he does have the... I just sacrificed the temple. I just sacrificed the temple. That just happened. Wait, can I fit that there? Am I like an idiot or like, is this going to sacrifice both temples? Wait, I should I risk it? My God, look at that. That is perfectly placed. That is absolutely perfectly placed right there. My God, I can't believe I sacrificed the temple. That's kind of embarrassing. But we, we did that really, really well. Now, we are going to run out of money a bit because, of course, temples are very, very expensive towers. Can we really not fit anything there at all? 
So we can't fit any tower. Oh my god. This map is really annoying for fitting stuff. It's really annoying. We can fit that there though. Although it will sacrifice the chippers we got, which is kind of sad. He is struggling right now. He is struggling on his side. He needs to get up some defense. There we go. Okay, let's just go for this. Let's go for another temple right here. Um, this map isn't the best for getting up towers. Oh my god, it really isn't. Um, we'll start spamming chippers once we got all of these temples up. Uh, but we can't really get that many temples. Let's see what he does. But yeah, so he has the ice sacrifice. He has the ice slowdown. He has a lot of stuff above me. Um, so that kind of sucks. We'll see who wins though. We'll see. I'm very, very curious now to see which defense actually holds up better. Because I'm just going to spam my map filled with the chippers we may i honestly we probably should get tech terrorists to do, like defend against the zoom g layer uh but the good thing is this guy it doesn't really seem like he's gonna rush me i don't think well maybe he'll rush me but by the time he does i'll have a really good defense so i won't actually die i'm just so terrified of our opponent disconnecting now because of all of the stuff that happened it was so bad like literally i've had so many opponents disconnect it really really sucks now, of course, we're destroying things sooner than he is, uh, but that's just because we have more towers, more temples on the screen right now that can actually hit everything. Um, and we do have a nice 8, 18,000 eco, which is really, really great. Uh, it is a bit slow, though. It is, like, even with 18,000 eco, it's still a bit slow getting up all these temples. But this is the last one. I don't think we can fit any more. So now what we do is we just fit chippers. We just get as many chippers as we can on the map and see if we can make it work. I really want Shipper to work in this strategy. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat him because the strategy he has is very, very good. Ice Tower plus Super Monkey is such a good combo because it acts as a sacrifice and it acts as a slowdown, which is really what you need. Slowdown is absolutely amazing. But yeah, our, our side is going to look so weird with like all of these zero zero chippers and like the temples as well. I'm just going to keep on doing our um, like our defense. Uh, hopefully we can win this. Hopefully he doesn't disconnect. I'm so scared. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, can we try and hit 3,000 likes on this video? I don't know if it's possible. But we can at least try. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly, I greatly appreciate that. But hopefully I did actually stream. I don't know if my voice is up to it anymore, but I will try my best. If I did stream, it will probably be before this video. which And it will probably be, be uploaded after I do this video. So yeah, kind of confusing considering I'm talking about a stream that's happening in the future. Um, that, you're, that is actually in the past for you because I would have already done it. Very, very confusing stuff. Um, but anyway, let's keep on fitting these. The, the, one of the problem is we can't actually see where we can fit towers or not because the temples just get in the way. But one good thing is it takes us so long to get all of these towers on the screen that actually our money is building up to insane levels. Like we've already got a quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a million dollars just saved up just like that because we've been struggling with getting all the chippers down. But um, yeah, I am not sure who's going to win this. I really am not. It looks like, is he going to go for Tech Terrors on his side? If he went for Tech Terrors, he could probably... Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop with the chippers. I think that's enough chippers. Let's just get a couple more just here where we can. Yeah, I think I think that's enough chippers. We're, we're just going to fill the bottom of the map as well, actually. And then we're going to stop, and then we're just going to get Tech Terrors. Because we need to do as much damage as we can to the ZMG layer. Like, obviously, the uh, all of the BFBs are just going to absolutely get demolished by all my chippers. Uh, but we really, we really need to get um, Tech Terrors up. Uh, the problem is, they're very fat. I know that sounds weird, but they, they, they are fat. The Super Monkey's fat. We're not going to be able to fit that many. Hopefully, we can fit a decent amount of Tech Terrors in. Uh, but I'm not too confident. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. We'll try and defend as late as we can. It doesn't look like he's gone for any rushes. I'm kind of, like, paranoid that it's my own connection that's failing. But everybody else... It's been everybody else's connection. So I swear it's not my own. Otherwise, it would say I disconnected. But anyway, can we really not fit one there? Okay, we can. Nice. So it's going to cost a lot of money to get all of these Tech Terrors. So I'm just going to do it now. Hopefully, I have enough money to upgrade all of them. But I'm kind of doubtful because I do have a lot on the screen. Yeah, look at this. Look how easily it eats up all of the money I had. I had so much money from that eco, but like it just gets eaten up by these tech terrors. It just gets eaten up. Oh my god, that was so quick. That was actually quicker than I was expecting it to get eaten up. My god. Okay, we're struggling money-wise. Maybe we should have kept the BIAs for a couple rounds longer. But like, to be fair, we haven't really found money an issue until now so i feel like we've done an okay job now he is just spamming tech terrors all over the place i feel like he's gonna get the win i i do but i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna see if i can win this still 
Now, let's upgrade this. This is our last Tech Terra. We can get it as soon as we get the Eco Boost. Nice. Wait, we have more. We have more. Oh my god, we have more. Okay, so we have one more there. I don't believe we have any more there. And then we'll fill all of this, and then we'll start upgrading the chippers. And then hopefully, like, you can see he's doing more damage, but we're both destroying them fairly fast. But yes, he is destroying things sooner than me, which sucks. Um, but actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to upgrade a couple of the chippers. Because they are, look how much cheaper they are. Look how much cheaper they are. I can spam upgrades all day with the chippers. And they're going to do so much damage to the BFBs and stuff. Uh, I should honestly just go for, like, more farms. But I, I think at this point, it isn't really worth it. But I definitely didn't farm as hard as I should have. But you can see, I get the money back very, very quickly with the eco. And in, like, 10 rounds, I will have all of my defense. I don't know if I'll be dead by round 50. But by that round, I will have all of my defense up. So let's just keep on getting all of these chippers up. Um, it's very important that we are able to, like, pop the ZMG layer. I hope he doesn't go for a rush against me, because I want to see how far naturally we can go late game. And I apologize if I miss any upgrades. It's very, very easy to miss upgrades. It is so easy to miss upgrades when there's so much stuff on the screen. But I feel like this is going to be a really good late game match. Um, he's got Ice Slowdown, which he hasn't even used yet. So he's doing more damage. And he has a slowdown. So things don't look that good for me. But the chipper in itself is a very, very valuable tool. Because the BFBs can actually get very, very dangerous later on in the mobs. But the chippers are going to make them literally not a problem. The only problem for me is going to be the ZMG layer. And I do think we're going to be able to pop it in time. I may actually just go for a rush when we're like 20 minutes in. Go for a rush against him. Try and get a quick win. Try and like, I don't know. I really don't know. I just want to know. I, I just know that I really want to win this game. Because these disconnects and stuff have been so annoying. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep on getting our Super Monkeys up. Can we really not fit something there? Wow, okay. But we can't fit that many more Tech Terrors on the screen. Which is kind of sad. Uh, but we'll do our best. But we do need a lot more than this. We really do. And they're so expensive as well. The Tech Terrors are really expensive. I actually underestimated that. Can we really not fit a tower there at all? Okay, that, that kind of... Oh, yeah, I remember this side is really annoying with, like, fitting towers. You really can't fit anything. Okay, so let's just get all of these to Tech Terrors. And then we'll finish upgrading the chippers. And then we are basically done for our defense. Now, as you can see... He is popping stuff sooner than me, but that's because the, the chippers are just, like, making them go absolutely everywhere. Now, it's round 42. The next round is the ZOMG, guys. <clears throat> I hope we're going to be able to defend against it. I don't know if we will, but we'll try our best. <clears throat> it's sad that we don't have any slowdowns. I really want slowdowns. Does the chipper kind of count as a slowdown, though? But anyway, it's going to be interesting to see how quickly or slowly, I guess, we take out... The, uh, this CMG. I feel like we're going to be able to... We're going to take it out slower than him. Wait, how many temples do we both have? He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He managed to fit one more than me. That's not good at all. He managed to fit one more than me. Now, as you can see, I'm defending against this a lot slower. Uh, however, yeah, oh my god, a lot slower. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like having a sacrifice and one more temple really does make all the difference. It really does. Um, I could obviously sell these. Um, let's. Can we, can we really fit a temple right there? Because I swear, like, I could not fit that on my side at all. It really didn't work. Yeah, dude, I, I swear it doesn't fit. I swear it doesn't fit down there. At least for me, like, I can't put that down there at all, which sucks. Because that means he has more stuff than me. Uh, but it, we're, we're just going to have to deal with that. But this this side of the map, it looks like you can fit something, but you, you just can't. That is so infuriating. But let's go for all of the upgrades on the chippers. Let's keep on going. We're getting really, really close to getting all of our defense up. Now, I don't think we can fit any more towers. Maybe, maybe there are a couple of spots. Maybe there are a couple of unupgraded towers that I've just missed. Because like, there's so much stuff on the screen. Um, but we're going to go really late game, guys. This map, I don't like this map. But it's honestly been okay. It, it has been okay. It's okay for late game. Um, let's just try not to miss any towers. Because I know that that annoys you guys a lot. And it annoys me as well. When I was watching like Molt late game videos sometimes like years ago. It used to annoy me so much when he missed the tower. And I was like how, how the hell could he miss that tower? It's so obvious. But trust me it is not obvious guys. It really isn't obvious when you're commentating. And, like you literally can't see because it's going so late game. But um, he is obviously going to win this. He he is he's going to win this. He has better. He he just has a better defense. Wait, I saw a couple of unupgraded ones there. They are sneaky, dude. They are really sneaky. 
Uh, but it looks like everything is upgraded on my side, I believe. I haven't got the laser blast or the plasma blast for all of those. Now, now, I'm going to save up a bunch of money. And then we're going to go for a rush against him. Because I want to kill this guy. I really want to get the win on this guy. And I also saw something pop up right there. I swear there was... Yes! Dude, there's so much space here that I didn't see. Are you kidding me? There's actually space for like a bunch of tech terrors right here. That's... Uh, wait, maybe... Okay, one tech terror. But still, one tech terror is better than none. Okay, so we're doing well. Uh, there's kind of honestly a bit of lag. That's probably his side. Um, I'm going to wait for one more eco boost. And then we're going to go for a rush. We're going to go for so many ZMGs. I don't know if we're going to... Actually, no, because he isn't even using the ice ability. And he is taking them out so damn quickly. My god, this looks like a lost cause at this point. And if I rush him, it will kill my eco. It will absolutely destroy my eco. So I won't have any eco. So I really won't have any chance. Because then, if it doesn't do anything and I need to rush him later on, I won't have any money to rush him unless I sell my defense. And I really don't want to sell my defense for obvious reasons. Okay, yes, we can actually fit one there. Nice. It's always nice, like, finding extra placements. But anyway, okay, next round, round 53. We're just going to go for a ZMG rush because everything is actually getting kind of far on his side right now. It is lagging a lot. Okay, so round 53. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for the ZMGs. Let's see if this can kill him. He hasn't used the ice slowdown. He hasn't used the ice slowdown at all, actually, which is interesting. He still hasn't used it. Why isn't he using the ice cooldown? Why is he not using the ability? He, he might actually die to my rush if he doesn't use his ability. Now, as you can see, the ZMGs are getting pretty far on my side. The chip is... Okay, did he use it yet? I can't even tell. I don't think he even used it yet. Uh, he is using all of his tech terror abilities. I think he knows he's... Uh, oh, he's going for a rush against me now. He knows what's up. So let's just use all of my tech terror abilities. Hopefully that does a good amount of damage to the ZMG uh, layer. And my god, we're probably going to die, aren't we? I'm actually going to use my damage boost right here. I wouldn't be surprised if we just crash. Like, honestly, I would not be surprised whatsoever. I'm going to sell my temple. It's really, really risky. But I need to send those extra 10 ZMGs. Because I feel like they're going to make all the difference. He is not using the ice ability for some reason. Which concerns me. Because that would do so much damage. Uh, like, it literally, well, it wouldn't do so much damage, but it would slow them down so every other tower could do so much damage. But it looks like the chippers are doing their job well. Obviously, all the ceramics and stuff and the balloons are going to get demolished by the temples. Oh, I see balloons very, very close to the exit there. I think I'm going to die. I really think I'm going to die. My God, they're getting so close to the exit. I'm saying I'm, I'm going to send the crying face. It doesn't look like I'm going to win this one. It really doesn't. Round 55, though, we got far. Uh, our tech terror abilities sadly are only halfway done. Yeah, I don't think we're going to... Look at our side right now. There is so much stuff. Oh my god. And it, it, the chippers just make it even worse. But they don't. They help. But it makes it visually look even worse. Okay, so he has big balloon buster. That is so much better than uh, my damage boost. My god. He is just going to shred through my rush now. I, I, don't, I don't have this one. I think I'm going to die. I really think I'm going to die. No... This is so sad. This is really sad. Well, actually, okay. Chipper, it looks like it doesn't work. Even if I had that extra temple that he put down, I, I don't think I'd be able to defend it. He is sending the smug smile. He is sending the smile. He'll, yeah, he absolutely crushed that rush. Props to him. This is a really good game. Considering we're playing against someone called Player, this has been a really good late game game. And this is better than our opponent disconnecting. Did he just use a Fertile Soil? Okay, so we're dead. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.